Here we have the integral of dx divided by x squared times the square root of x squared plus 9. Here we have the form x squared plus a squared, which we can see our a is going to be equal to 3. So we're going to use the form of x equals 3 tangent of theta. In order to use a triangle, we can divide that 3 over so we can really see the opposite over adjacent. And here we can solve for our remaining hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. So we have our x and we want to find our dx. So we're going to take the derivative of both sides in terms of x. And then we can multiply that dx over. Now we can replace everything inside our integral. We have our dx and we have our x. So here inside the square root, we can factor out 9, and we have tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to secant squared theta. Taking the square root, that's equal to 3 secant of theta. Notice here it cancels out. The 3 cancels and 1 of the secants cancel. So I'm going to bring out that remaining scalar of 1 over 9. We have secant is 1 over cosine, and 1 over tangent squared is cosine squared over sine squared. So canceling out one of the cosines, this is what we're left with. And here we can go ahead and use u substitution. So we set u equal to sine, du is equal to cosine d theta. Plugging this back in, we get 1 over 9 times the integral of 1 over u squared du, in which we can take the antiderivative and plug u back in. I bet you think we're done here, but uh -huh, we're not. What we need to do is end in a function of x. So we're going to use our triangle to replace cosecant of theta. That's going to be hypotenuse over opposite. And here we get our final solution.